back again. This is Travi Official. Got a quick review of a Mercedes AMG E63. Just going to go over a quick story on how we acquired this uh, vehicle. So 10 years ago, my lady always mentioned she wanted a, uh, a black MB. Thinking, hey, it's her birthday weekend. Why not go grab this car as a deal? So we end up finding this vehicle on uh, eBay. Reserve wasn't met. So I do a little bit more homework. And I end up finding the vehicle on Craigslist in Nashville. Same one. So I end up offering the, uh, the seller 10000 less than what it's actually worth. This vehicle is probably worth about 130000 right? 55K miles. It's mint condition. I know it's COVID times. Everyone's struggling. Everyone needs money. He's going to take the deal. So I end up flying out to uh, Nashville. You know, figure out the paperwork, everything is good. Stop in Memphis, get a temporary tag. Stop in Shreveport, meet my accountant in Dallas. We drive it all the way to uh, El Paso, which is the um, border of Juarez. So this is where the interesting part comes into play. So we're on our way home. Actually, we're actually off the lunch. Didn't even make it that far. So we end up catching the flat in the middle of the freeway, right? 60 miles an hour, just blowout tire. Um, the front end's ripped off. It's just, it's just a bad situation. Luckily, a police, uh, uh, police officer was around to uh, stop and hold traffic. So we end up getting back on the road. We have a spare, thank God. On our way to the shop, thank goodness it was open on Sunday. We pull into the the garage of the shop to get the tire repaired. Then we catch a flat on the spare tire. Everything's just going wrong. Then. We find a new tire for the, the the wheel that actually caught the flat. Then the wheel actually has a crack in it, so it's not holding air. So now we're stuck. We got three options. One, we go to Juarez, try to get the wheel welded same day or a couple days, stick around. Or we try and find a wheel, buy a new wheel and tire combo there. Or we have to take it to another shop to try and find a wheel because they're claiming they don't have a wheel that fits the vehicle. I'm like, look, guys. Just find a wheel, please. We, we don't have all this time. There's two hours to so both of the shops close. So they end up finding a wheel. We use a spacer to get the, uh, the situation taken care of. So now we're on our way to Phoenix, Arizona. So as soon as we get to town, I think it's about midnight, we end up having our Fast and Furious moment, right? There's two M3s. Actually, it was an M5. I think one of them's an M5. And two Ford Mustangs. I mean, I think one of them's a GT, right? So my count is driving, we're on a spare, right? And I'm like, just smoke them. I wish I had that recording. That adrenaline rush was out of this world. But anyway, so the following morning, uh, my lady ends up taking the, uh, the AMG to town. And what she finds out is that the vehicle ends up eating more gas than the ML truck. So her response is like, shoot, you can keep them both. How about we look into getting a Tesla? Crazy.